Sports Animation. Every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Madam, please, where did you say you were getting off? I said Jojo Town, didn't you hear me? Okay, ma'am, but there's no town here with a name like that. What do you mean? Take me to my son's house. Madam, I don't know any town named Jojo Town. How could you bring me here and tell me you don't know where I'm going? I'm sorry, ma'am, I thought I heard Oyo Town. I did say Jojo Town. Arrange to take me to my son's house. The only solution that can help us is to take you to the police. Who are you going to take to the police? What did I do to make you take me to the police? Am I a thief? Aren't you the one who can't get me where I want to go? I won't go to the police station. I refuse. Who is this lady? It's me you're insulting, this lady. I return your insult. It is you who are this lady. What's going on here, sir and madam? You're impeding the flow of traffic. This woman doesn't even know where she's going. She says she's going to Jojoville when there's no town of that name here. It's already late for me, I've got to get back. I just want to go to my son's house. I don't want to wait for anything else. Come down, madam, and follow me. I won't do it. I can't follow you. You must come with me, madam if you really want to see your son. Are you sure? Didn't understand. Why can't I come down to your place? Where am I going to get off? The hotel mom. My son wants to kill me. How can you want to put your mommy in a prostitute's room? I won't go there. Ah, who do I see like this? It's a ghost you see. So you're the reason my daughter put me in a hotel. That much is clear. Between you and me, who gets to stay in this house? Please leave in front of the door. I'm not going anywhere. My god. Stepmother. Have you been here long? But why are you outside? Welcome home, my son-in-law. I've been here about one hour already. But darling, why don't you bring your mother inside? Your mom kicked us out. What? Happy arrival, son. Thank you. Oh, why do you answer me like that? Why are you being so mean to my wife and her family? You have no right to throw my wife and her mother out. What kind of behavior? Hey, my son yells at me and insults me because of a woman. Who insulted you? Stop it, mom. You're not good with people at all. Is that sterile woman the reason you're talking to me like this? Please don't make me angry with you. If I say anything about you, it might get to you. So be gentle. Don't forget that I'm your mother and I have all the power over your life. That person you call sterile is my wife. You have to respect it, or you're out of here, mom. Sacrilege. You've got no right to talk to me like that. Be careful, Roger. I don't want to curse you. Good evening. I'll be in my room. My own son puts up with his wife and mother-in-law. The child I carried in my womb for nine months rejects me. No, I can't allow this. I need to find a solution to this situation quickly. Otherwise, this girl and her family risk getting the better of me. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm going to use every means possible to reclaim my right as a mother. Besides, I didn't want him to marry that woman. I don't like her. Darling. Are you still asleep? Wake up. But what else is there, darling? I'm tired. Let me rest a while. Honey, please. Go talk to your mom. 
I don't know what's gotten into her, but she's spilled all the cloths I washed yesterday on the floor. Even my cosmetics are on the floor in the bathroom. Really? And why would she do such a thing? What do I know? It's like she's going crazy. She even spilled the sauce I made yesterday into the sink. Paul, you're exaggerating a bit too. How can my mother do such a thing? What interest do I have in lying about your mother? There are only three of us in this house. Come and see for yourself. Mom is gonna kill me one day. I'm sick of your mother's behavior. I want her to leave. I want her to go home like that. Calm down, darling. I'll take your wishes into account. She's got to go. I'd like it to be as soon as possible. If possible even tonight. I don't mind paying for her return ticket. All right, darling. Let me talk to her first. I agree. Leaving for work already? Yes. Okay. I hope you didn't forget to deposit some money for me, did you? Your money is where I usually put it. Thank you, son. Pack your bags, Mom. Tomorrow you're going home. Ah. Uh, why do I have to leave tomorrow? Do you define my departure day? Yes, Mommy. I can decide when you leave. You need to come home. You have already visited us. We're fine with that. Now you can return. No, I'm not ready to leave yet. I haven't enjoyed my time in this house yet. I'm going to enjoy it a little longer. You're leaving this house tomorrow. That's not negotiable. Wait, who do you think you are? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? I'm your mother. You're my mother, but I've had enough of you. You're going back to your hut tomorrow. When you get to your house, you can give orders and do whatever you like with your servants and your grandsons, but here you have no right to do so. Because this is a conjugal home of my wife and I. Wow, I refuse again and again. I have every right to enjoy my child's property, and this house is your property. So I also have the right here. No, Mama. Leave my wife and me in peace. The hour is grave. What must I do now? I can't leave this house. I've got to enjoy it. If anyone has to leave here, it's this woman who's done nothing but take advantage of my son's money. She's the one who's going to leave this house. I know what to do. She's going to fill me up. I'll go here. Happy arrival, sister. Take your place. What brings you to the gods? Great fetishist. It's because of my son's wife. All right. Don't talk anymore. The gods have already revealed everything. Okay. Your daughter-in-law wants to kick you out of your son's house. Because of her, your son no longer listens to you. Exactly, fetishist. You are right. This woman he's taken into the house is a freeloader, and so are her parents. I see my sister. I see a mother's heart bleeding because of her son's whims. You've suffered too much for this child, so you must take full advantage of his success. Exactly, Fadisher. I don't deserve this suffering. I can help you. But first tell me what you want me to do for you. First. I want my son to prosper again and again, but to turn his eyes completely away from his wife. I want him to hate his wife to death until he leaves the house. I don't want to see that woman. I want my son to accept, without question, whatever I ask of him. I'm the one who must choose a new wife for him to marry, and how he must spend his money. All right, then. Everything you just mentioned is fun for the gods. If you want, we can drive this woman crazy for life. Then your son won't be able to love her. Okay Fetisher I agree with what you say. I also want her to remain sterile for life. Her bat must never bear a child until the day she dies. Even after I leave my son, this curse must follow her forever. 
Suppose it's already done, sister. Everything will be back in order for you by tomorrow. Really? Of course it is. Just trust in the gods. Okay. I'd like you to bring me a piece of your daughter-in-law's underwear, so that I can make her infertile. Okay. You're going out again without telling me? Darling. Mom and I have to go to an invitation. Then we'll go for a walk. We may not get home today. Oh. Darling, you're the reason I woke up very early this morning to get the supplies for the kitchen. You can't leave the house on your birthday while I'm trying to make dinner. Forget your kitchen. I don't feel like eating. My mom already made me dinner. Okay. My darling son. Look at this. Your mommy is ready. We have to go now. Marie, don't forget to sweep my room and wash my linen sails. Be gentle with my quality fabrics. You've never bought one in your life. What am I going to do to you? Darling, do you hear what your mommy is saying to me? You do what my mom tells you to do or you get out of my house. I don't even know what you're good for. Jesus Christ! I'm not your mother servant. Just because I took it upon myself to help her with her laundry, doesn't mean she can order me around. She's not my husband. From now on, you'll do whatever she tells you to do if you want to stay in this house. I don't want to hear you sulking about my mother anymore. She's like a queen in this house. You must serve and obey her. Who does she think she is? <laughs> you are our servant in this house. Thank you, my son, for honoring me as your mother. I'm very happy to have you as my son. I love you very much. Mom, you mean everything to me. I can sacrifice everything for your happiness. Even my life, if I have to. Thank you so much, my darling. My darling, I want to move into your house for good. Oh. Do you need to ask my permission first before you move in with me? Listen, Mom, it's your absolute right. Okay, son. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to take you myself to make the move. You'll come and stay with me. I am very happy, my son. Finally, my son reacts like a man. Please, Mom. I also have a beautiful wife for you. I want you to marry her. Okay, Mom. What's going on in my home? It doesn't even look like I'm married. My husband has been sleeping in his mother's room for almost three weeks now. What could I have done to make him take this decision? All the things I used to do to please my husband, he hates them all now. Every weekend, I, the wife, am at home. But it's my mother-in-law who goes out with my husband. I've become a servant in my own home. I prepare, my husband leaves my food to go eat his mother's dish. What have I done to deserve all this? I can't even talk to my mom about it. She might tell me to get out of the marriage when I don't want to. What am I going to do now? Happy arrival, my daughter. Thanks, Mom. What's wrong with you? You've lost a little weight, and you look a bit funny. I'm fine, Mom. I just came to say hi. Okay, but I'm not convinced. Don't worry about me, Mom. Why should I keep quiet if I can see it's not going well? Don't tell me that lady witch is still at your house. Don't call her a witch, Mom. She's my mother-in-law. Is that a mother-in-law? If it isn't that you're stubborn, you weren't going to end up in that lady's hands. I told you before and I'm telling you again. Leave her child before it's too late. In the almost two years you've been married, you haven't even had a miscarriage with this gentleman. I don't even know what's keeping you there when nobody loves you. I remind you that I am a Christian and that I married before the law and before God. God's word doesn't allow me to leave my husband when he hasn't done anything wrong. I'm not going to break up my marriage because of his mother's behavior. Are you blind or what, girl? What harm do you want him to do to you first before you wake up? I'm your mommy. I can never mean you any harm. I'm not in your Bible business here. 
I don't want you to die in this wedding. You're in a very, very dangerous marriage, my girl. You need to leave this house. No. Never. Besides, this is my marriage, and I alone decide what to do with it. I'm not going anywhere. My daughter, listen to what I'm telling you. Last time, my fetishist made a revelation about your marriage. He told me dangerous things. I told you never to take my name to a fetishist again. I'm a Christian. I didn't even give your name, did I? It was the fetishist himself who had a vision. He just told me that you're in a dangerous relationship. That's all there is to it. My marriage is prosperous and at peace. Don't worry about me, mom. And I think you also need to stop going to fetishists. I heard. Well, I'm going to ask to leave. I just came to say hello. I also came by the hospital to check on dad. Okay, girl. Happy arrival, my darling. Thanks, mom. Your husband will be here any minute. Come and sit down. I'll bring you something to drink. Okay. Thank you, madam. Happy arrival. Thank you. But who are you? I don't know you. Who am I, Hal? When you see me there, don't you feel that I am the woman of this house? Oh. Sorry. Are you the new cleaning lady? What? When you see me, can I be your maid? I was told there was a maid in this house. I hope it's you. I do, don't I? If not, I'll be your new boss. Come on. Come fix your boss's nails. I'm your boss's wife. What are you? What's going on out there? Who does your maid think she is? Marie. What did you say to my daughter-in-law? I just heard daughter-in-law or am I dreaming? You heard me right. From now on, she'll be my son's wife. Your darling is here, my daughter-in-law Chantal. Go and welcome him. Happy arrival my love. Thank you, sweetheart. Sacrilege. What's happening in front of me? Roger, you dare to kiss another woman in front of me? Wait. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, Marie? You think I have to answer to you? What? We've come to the end of the second part of this animated series. See you tomorrow for the rest. Don't forget to subscribe to our various YouTube channels and activate the notification bells to be alerted as soon as we publish a new video. Thank you for your support and may God preserve us. Bye.